You're watching the Team Nerd Tech Show with your hosts, Tim Gillen and Ruthie Kierlin. Uh, Netgear, Nighthawk, those kind of things that you might put at home, which I recommend to use at home. So those kind of routers and even something you might use at your office have a certain amount of power and it goes out concentrically and it gets weaker the farther it goes. And okay. things in between can break it down. Uh, cement walls, metal in the walls. Like a mirror? Not so much a mirror, but certainly like I-beams that are in a, okay. in a steel building. Okay. And I-beam trusses in a commercial building. And metal between offices when there's a bunch of offices all together in a strip mall, that kind of thing. As well as what we call EMI and RFI, electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference, which are put out by things like fluorescent lights. So if you're in an office with a whole bunch of fluorescent lights up above, mm. they put out a lot of uh, EMI. And uh, if the person next to you has a strong two-way radio they communicate with their off-site staff on, that could be interfering with yours. So any number of things can get in the okay. way. Big welders out in the shop, big air compressors out in the shop, large forklifts out in the shop, scissor jacks, all these things with big motors. So all those can affect your Wi-Fi connectivity. They can all affect your Wi-Fi, and they can just Interesting. they can just uh, diminish the signal at certain points and at certain parts of the building, and you get dead spots in your building and all that kind of thing. And you may have, for example, uh, this is why I generally don't recommend getting your wireless from your internet services provider. I'm sorry, Charter, and sorry. Verizon, Verizon it, it, yeah. it's a lousy Please. idea. They they bring it into one corner of the building. They they charge you five bucks a month for this weak little connection, and you got a crappy wireless inside your house. And you're going to pay you know, sixty dollars a year for it or more because they charge you for that. They yeah. say it's free. They say it's included. It's included in your bundle of which five dollars a month is for the wireless. So mm -hmm. you can tell them turn it off and you'll save the money. 